Hey, how you doing? Uh, I just got my little adapter piece. I'm going to show you that real quick. And I'm going to have to get... It's not going to work. Because this is wrong. They actually have the same thing on this one right here. And it's the same thing on that. And then this one's the same. So, apparently they sent me the wrong one. So, I don't know why they did that. But what I'm going to do is kind of put this one to here and that one to there. And see which ones actually go to which. And then what I'll do, you know, like from here, figure out which one this is. Because this would go here. And then figure out this one. Or whichever way. I guess this one will connect into here and this one in here so they gave me the wrong type of plug but i'll figure it out i have to figure out the wiring part how it goes and that way i could be able to put it in because i don't know why they even sent me that one like that that's not even the one it goes to get out of there get over here before you knock my stuff over get out of there get over here hey get over there Go. Get over there. Out the way. But I wanted to, you know, like I said earlier, I wanted to look at the uh, magnet thing. And my bolts wasn't even tight. So somebody had to mess with it because it wasn't like that. And also I found out that I have to tighten this too because that wasn't even tight. And that's got to be tight or the motor will shape. But let me take it off and see how it looks. See, it don't even look like it's touching like it's supposed to. The magnet. You know? It don't even look like it's actually getting near it. You know? So I don't know. Kind of hard to tell. It's supposed to be lower than that, I thought. With this cord. See right here at the, the magnet. That's way too much space. And it's supposed to be real close to it. And that might be no might be why I'm not picking anything up. So if I take this and move it down closer, get a filler gauge, move it closer, maybe that'll fix it. So hopefully that's what it is. Cause it's supposed to be real close to it. And I gotta take the bolts out, you know, which is uh eight millimeter wherever I put it up. Might have fell down. Oh, here it is. I'll say it. Eight millimeter. Take these off. Yeah. Which kind of hard to do with one hand, apparently. Because I got to hold it. Hold on a second. Let me do something. See if this will work. I need to find something that'll stay in place. And not move. Let me try this. I don't know if you can see it or not. So hopefully the phone don't shut off. We'll try it. Go away. This one. This way. Ow. That hurt. I gotta move this out of the way. I'm glad I have to fix the spark plug too. Put it where it's supposed to.
Uh, like Dad used to say, if you ain't bleeding, you ain't working. So, I'm going to try and do this as quick as I can. Put that one there. So, I'll lose them. This one here. This one. Here's a 15 millimeter, so it's got to be a 17. If that's a 15, it's right there. It's either 17 or 19. So let's see if I got one in this one. I got one. exactly tight like it's supposed to be. I need to find a 17. See if it'll work. Come on now. Dang it. Put that right there. Yeah, I'm trying. So I'm trying to find a 17 that'll fit. And if I can find one. I got these other tools right here. Kind of hard to see everything with stuff all over it. No, that's too small. Thought I had a 17 somewhere. What is that? 18. That's one I already tried. I know that one ain't gonna work. It's hard to see without my glasses on what it is. Let's see what is this one. Nine sixteenths. Of course that one's not gonna fit. I need to I had some in here too. I thought I know I had it. I had a bunch of soccer there. There we go, there's some down here. That's 15. Yeah, that's 17. What is this one? 17, here we go. Yep, right there. Got it. I figured it was there somewhere. I figured it was there. Let me put the phone back down and Yeah, I'm still typing. See what it does. I think it's pointed at it, I'm not sure. I don't know how well you can see it. But. Keep that in there. Need to loose that. Going the wrong way. Uh, 
It's on there. Do I go the other way? So I'm supposed to lose them. Because the thing. Well, I'm going to have to worry about it later. But, see the space? I know that's way too far out. I know working on moors and stuff, it's not supposed to be that far. It's supposed to be closer. That's probably why I'm not getting any pickup on it. And getting it. And while I'm at it, I'm going to tighten the thing up too. So, that way everything's tight. And I'll just worry about it later. But I gotta get a fill of gauge to see. It's not. That's way too much. So that might be the problem right there. Why it's not getting any spark? Because it's got to be closer than that. I know that for a fact. So that's probably what it is. I'm guaranteeing it. So that's why I wanted to look at was that. And I just have to make sure I don't lose the bolts or nothing. So I'm just gonna have to finish when I get it. And I'm going to have to get some connectors and uh, splice the wires together somehow to have to be hooked up. Because there's only, you know, the other ones I could just put tape on, cover it up. And the other ones, I have to put connectors on them and find out. I might be able to use the connectors that's on it, plug it in or something, or figure something out. But it's not going to work that way. I can't use those. And I'm not going to try and fight to get it again. I'm just tired of messing with it. I just have to figure out which wires is connected where and which wires go where. So, but the way it looks, you would think that the, well it shows that the, was that, white and green, black and red, and then you got five here but on this red green and white which is probably the white one would probably be the ground or the white would be the black green would be ground so that's probably ground right here that's probably the ground wire right here and then the black is negative and this one is positive so I'm thinking that the green is negative, red is positive, and this one's ground. I mean, uh, the green is ground, red is fire, white is black. But I could just connect them straight to these and see if that'll work. Because I don't understand that, why it's not working like that. But they got brown here, and I think these right here are supposed to go to here. So, but for some reason it's not doing like it's supposed to you know if I could take this connector and put it in there that would be good but these are the same which is kind of messed up and then these are the same right here which that's messed up too but anyways I'll figure that part out that would be a trial and error thing that would be the last thing I'd do but first, I want to see if I can get this done. And uh, like I said, I got to get a feeler gauge and put it in there for this thing. Of course, you can see I've cut my hand. But uh, that's what I have. And I told you I'd show you. But I got that stuff put there, and I'm going to leave that there. And I'm just going to take my tools. And, uh, well, I'm going to take them back in the house because I can't use them right now anyway. But anyways, I don't need to take the flywheel off. I'm going to try that first. See if it'll pick it up and not worry about trying to take it off. Because that'll work, you know. I think, I don't know exactly how close it's got to be. But, of course it's closer than that, right? You would think. That looks like it's way too far out. Because there's not supposed to be that much space in it. You know, that's like 
this right here my uh phone case yeah well let's see this pocket right here this probably work let's try this part let's see yep see goes right in and that's way too much way too much space it's supposed to be thinner than that you know like from what I understand of like business paper thin you know business you know the paper that you use for business cards business card thin there you go that's what I was trying to think of but I'm going to tighten the uh, thing back up hold on a second well I got it there I'm going to tighten up the motor that should be a 9 16 so I'm going to keep that in there keep that in there Where's my 9 16 out there? Might be a 15. That's probably what it is. That's 14. Yeah. That's not it. I know I have my 15, Dave. Where'd it go? Thing's too big. That's not the one I was looking for. So it's got to be around here somewhere. Cause I just seen it. Although I could use this one. That's a 17. Could use the other 15 I saw. Five eight. But it looks like. It won't go down no further. Like it's stuck or something. But it's supposed to go in. And tighten up. So hopefully I'll be able to get it on there. If I can ever find my 15 millimeter. I know I had it in my tools. That's a 17. I'll leave that there. Let me see. Sixteenth. Is that the same as fifteen? What's the same as fifteen? I can't remember. I think it's nine sixteenth or something. Something like that. But I had a fifteen millimeter. I just can't find it. Don't think it's there somewhere. Maybe right here. That tool small down. Ah, here it is. That's the one I was looking for. Let's try this. Ow. Maybe it was 9 16. Uh, can't get to it to find help. I hate on it. But that was sticking out, so. Let me see something. 9 16. It'll fix that, then that's what it was. Let's see. Yeah, okay.
I'll just do it by hand. It'll be a lot easier. Because apparently it's too tight in there. And it's not gonna, because of that motor right there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it might be the springs in the way. But uh, let me see if I can slide it over. Hold on. So you can see. Yeah, it's the one. See right here? Yeah, it's in the way. Can't get no socket in there. I'll just put that in there for now. Put that in there. But that might be what it is. Not enough contact. Because from what I understand, uh, it's supposed to be close to it, you know, and you're not supposed to be able to, it look, it's supposed to look like it's right up on it. So it's got to be it. So what I'm going to do is take a picture and put it on Facebook and have them tell me. You see the motor's coming out now. It's tight. Yeah, that's Definitely ain't gonna move now. You know, I got the chain tight and all, you know. So, that's what it was, 9 sixteenths. My bad. But you actually got to see me work on that a little bit. And uh, I figured out that it was 9 5 16 Or, mm -hmm. sorry, my bad. Uh, 15 millimeter. Hold on. Okay, it's still on. But, um, like I was saying, yeah, I'm trying to fix this to where it'll stay up there. I got to get a filler gauge. I was going to see if Chris had one, but I don't know if he has one or not. But anyways, you know, it doesn't hurt to try something, you know. But uh, I don't know if you see me real good. Sorry, it's kind of slanted. I put you on the uh, buggy. Belt digging into my stomach. The way I was sitting belt was digging in because I had it off well I was trying to fix it let me see if I can put this up straight hold on a second I'm trying to do it without it shutting off let me see if I can find something to put on it give me one second use a wrench see if the wrench will do it put it up on it see if it'll go straight that should be straighter. So I'm trying to roll a cigarette. But uh that might be it. I'm gonna take a picture of it, put it on Facebook, and hopefully, you know, to get spark to it. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna try it after that, but I have to get a filler gauge and I have to find out what gauge it is. So if somebody out there is watching this and you know what the gauge is, or maybe with the fellows that when I do it, they'll tell me what the gauge is, or I can look at the specs for it and find out what the gauge is for the magnet, you know, which ain't hard at all. You know, I just look on, uh, I have the manual for the engine, well, the cart, and it doesn't show the engine, but it would show me about the specs for the uh, magnet, and it should be the same on each engine for this type of engine. It's just, they're the same kind of engine, except one's internal, one external reverse internal reverse external this one's internal reverse which is probably a lot easier the only thing is it's more bulky in the back because the transmission and drive thing is all together in one I guess that's what it sounds like anyway that would all be together you know like a what they call a transaxle or something I'm still learning I don't know that much about car stuff because I always worked on small engines, you know, but it's got compression and everything because you hear, can hear that. But I think that's what it is. It's not picking up a spark. 
I guarantee it. I guarantee that's what it is. It's supposed to be closer. But I'm going to have to lower it down or however you got to do it to push it down or something. Because I don't know exactly how it goes. I don't know. Don't look like the right one that goes onto it. It's supposed to be a magnet there and it's supposed to be real close. You know, like paper close. So, but you already seen what it looked like and how much space there is. But like I said, when I get done, I'll take a picture of it. And if there's a site that, you know, people mess with buggies and stuff, and they've been giving me some advice and everything. And one of them said about the magnet, and I thought about the magnet too. But then one guy said about the magnet, so I figured, you know, maybe I'd just go ahead and check, you know, see if that's what it is. And uh, hopefully that's it. I won't have to worry about getting a uh, thing. And then all I have to do, you know, if I get fired to it, I just have to work on the switch so that way I can be able to turn it off and on. I just have to fix it, figure out which wires it is. Because there's three wires. There's five wires on this switch. But only three of them you use. I have to figure out which wires those are. I'm sure it's the black, red, and maybe the green that you would use. And the other ones are just there. You know, for accessories. Which, you have a light switch. You have kill switch separate and then I don't have a horn I don't have interior lights or anything like that you know any uh, radio nothing like that so I don't have to worry about all that you know I don't have all that crap hooked up so all I have to really do is whatever things I don't use I just have to splice them together see if it'll work if it does I just can't take connectors and put it together and I'll just do like that and it should fix it the other wires I'll just, you know, crimp up and put electric tape on it, seal them up, you know, and uh, I got some electric tape, you know, right here. I just cut them and, you know, crimp them up and wrap them up, and that way it's not going to touch anything, hurt anything, and if somebody ever needs them, they can use them. And, uh... Then the other ones I'll get connector things and you know be able to connect them together and then I can connect the blue and the other ones together you know I just have to see if it works but if it, plus I have to charge the battery so I still have to wait till Thursday or something unless somebody has a battery charger so that way I can charge the battery but uh y'all have a good day later Oh, by the way, before I hang up or turn it off, <coughs> there's a guy I'm going to call him and ask him. I'm going to send him a picture of it and see what he says. So, you know, maybe he can give me some advice on it, but I'm going to send it on Facebook too, just in case. You know, maybe he'll be able to do it for me and get it to where it's supposed to be and get it running because I think that's the problem right there. We'll have to find out. If not, I'll have to get another stator. But... That might be why it's not getting fire, because there's no reason why it shouldn't be getting fire. But I think he did change them out, but I can't prove it. So, but if he did, I'm gonna be very pissed off. But none of these bolts, you know, like this top one right here, and this one right here were loose, and these right here were loose, and it was off right here where the thing goes, the lip, and it wasn't even on the lip; it was behind it. And when I got it, it was in front of the lip because I looked at it to make sure how it looked. But that's what I have so far. I wasn't going to get my hands dirty, but of course you can see that didn't happen. You know, and I just got off work from driving. So I wanted to get this done to see what it looked like. But that's what I have. But I'll, I'll show you what happened. You know, if that's what it is, then I'll show you, you know and get it started up, stuff like that. But, later.